Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well. If you are viewing for the first time, welcome on board. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you hit the bell, you will get a notification when I upload new recipes. You can also follow my baking page on Instagram at bakingwithnaomi. And if there's something that you would like to see, message me and I'll be more than happy to show you how to make it here. This is my page where I'll show you how to make different baking recipes from scratch. I hope you'll join and enjoy the adventure with me. On today's episode, I'll be making a carrot cake loaf with cream cheese frosting. And these are the recipes that we'll need. Half a cup of sugar, half a cup of oil, one and a half cup grated carrots, two eggs, one cup of flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon cinnamon, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So first, we are going to mix in the dry ingredients. So we take our flour, add in our baking powder, baking soda, and cinnamon. Whisk everything in. And we set aside. And next, we are going to mix in our liquid mixture. Okay, we are going to beat in our sugar and oil first. Add in the carrots. We mix it. Next, we add in our eggs. And beat in. Add in the next egg. Once we mix in our liquid mixture, we are going to combine our flour mixture. And then we fold in gently. Okay, and at this point, like we don't have to over mix it. We can just fold in gently because if we over beat it, our cake is gonna turn out very dense and dry. So we just fold in gently until we no longer see the flour streaks. And if you would like, you can add pecans, walnuts, or raisins to the batter, but I'm going to leave it plain for today. And then we're going to take our loaf pan and grease it lightly with oil so it won't stick later when we bake it. And we are going to pour into our pan. Next, we are going to bake it in our preheated 350 degrees oven for 40 to 50 minutes. Stay tuned for the next result. Okay, and for the cream cheese frosting, we'll need half a block of cream cheese, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one fourth cup of icing sugar. And we are going to smooth the cream cheese first and let it be at room temperature so that it can cream better. <laughs> our icing sugar our 
my vanilla. Then we're going to place it in the fridge to let it chill until our cake bakes. Once the cake is baked, we are going to let it cool in the pan for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to take it out on the cooling rack and let it cool like at room temperature. And once it's cooled completely, we are going to ice it. And this is the fun part. So we're going to take our icing from the fridge and we will mix it in a little bit if it's too hard. And we just dollop a little bit everywhere and we will just smooth it out. And this recipe can also be used for muffins if you would like. It can be a perfect individual size. Okay, and there we have it. It's so moist, it's perfect, it's so smooth with a perfect combination of the cinnamon and the carrots. I hope you guys will like this recipe and I hope you give it a try. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and see you next time.